This is the walking tour video. And this is a fun one. This is from an actual, I shot this fairly recently. This is a real listing. And it's called, I call this one the wood from the Chicago Stock Exchange. That'll make a lot more sense once you watch this. So video. one of the fun parts of my work is I get to go check out some pretty cool looking real estate. In fact, I'm here in a one of the listings that we have on the market, which is actually owned by some famous folks. And I wanted to show you just one of the really cool things about it. If you look up there, you see those wooden beams up there, the ones that are on the way top. Jonathan, where, where are those from? They're from like the, what are they from? Chicago Stock Exchange. From the Chicago Stock Exchange. That's that, see, that's something that makes this listing really unique. So if you've got, I don't know, between five and a half, six million dollars and you're interested in buying this home, give us a call. Just kidding, but not really. Call us. The equipment that was used was just my iPhone. And at the time, I currently have an iPhone uh, XR, but at the time that I shot that video, I was just holding my iPhone 6S that I had at the time. There was no microphone being used. It was simply just the phone. Um, but what I did have is I did have a short tripod. And let me uh, stop the presentation so you can see a better picture. I actually had a short tripod that I didn't have on the ground, obviously, because I was walking around. I had a short tripod that I was just using to keep to have the, uh, the phone just a little bit further away. So I was kind of walking yep. around like this, talking to it, walking through. And you notice there was a lot of motion going on in that video on purpose. Gary, you've got another one that's pretty awesome. Is that the Smooth? No, this one is the Vava, V-A-V-A. -V -A. Mm. Um, I love this one because it has a Bluetooth remote here that you can use to, you know, to start the video or, you know, if you're taking photos. And it also has the tripod here as well. Um, so I've got the Smooth as well, uh, which I was actually using earlier today. Um, but this one I use in a pinch. This particular tripod that I have is a newer, newer N-E-E-W-E-R photography photo studio. Um, this is actually considered a tabletop tripod. And I originally bought it for a, a light that I had. But of course, these are multi-purpose. So you can either screw on the light or you can screw on um, a phone or device holder so that you can walk around with it. You can set it on the ground. So this one, very, very useful. And I think it's uh, like maybe 20 bucks, right? It's not a very expensive device to be able to purchase. If you go, just go to Google and um, go to Google and do a search on newer photography backlight stand, tabletop backlight stand, it'll, it'll show up. So a um, couple of tips there. So I did, although it looked like I just turned on the camera and started talking, uh, there is a little bit of pre-preparation or pre-planning that's involved with even doing something as simple as that 38 second video. And what I like to do is choose one thing. Like I could have shown you the whole house, right? But then I wouldn't have been able to do that in a minute, right? Um, and from a viewer's standpoint with this type of video, you're just trying to get like a little bit of engagement. Um, you'll see that it actually gets a lot of engagement, but you know, the original goal is, you know, get people engaged, get people see us doing what we do, which is to sell real estate and market real estate. And so one of the tips comes from Dale Carnegie and he wrote a book called quick, the quick and easy way to effective speaking. And he said, pick one main point that you want to make. Now, what was the main point that I wanted to make in that video? It was the wood, right? It was, yeah, you wanted to point out the, 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 the very unique feature of that property. Um, now, Chris, when, when you're, when you're selecting that topic, that main point, um, one thing that you're, you really do really well is you're always looking for something very, very unique to point out and make that your main point because otherwise, how do you stand out from the crowd? Well, if you're, oops, oops, sorry, knocking stuff down over here, got equipment spread out all over the place. So here's the thing. If you're going to do something like this walking tour video and you're trying to accomplish it in one minute, you only have enough time to do one thing. Now, one of the things that you didn't see me doing there is before I picked the thing I was going to shoot a video on, I, I walked to the whole house and uh, Jonathan Gary's brother is there. He was with me and he's close friends with the seller. And so what we did is he was just pointing out all the cool stuff. Now, here's the thing. Every single home, every single home has something that makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, not every home is going to have wood from the Chicago Stock Exchange. OK, I understand that. Um, and you might think, well, every home, you know, all the homes I, I sell look the same. There's always something that makes it stand out, whether it is the view, whether it's the location. 
And whether it's the, you know, the close community that's a part of, there's always something that you can use to point out or a cool highlight feature either about the home or the characteristics of the home. So if you pick one thing and familiarize yourself with it, uh, in this case, I picked the wood. And here's the thing. Um, the second point is to pick some, select something you know through experience or study. I looked at the wood. I knew I experienced that house. I walked the whole thing. I looked at the wood, got some deets on it, and then you know, Jonathan. And then I, first, you know, I pulled Jonathan into the video just to make it more engaging. But I knew it was from the Chicago Stock Exchange. Get excited about it, right? So you always want to be excited about whatever you're going to talk about and just be eager. All I did was open up the photo, open up that video on my phone and I trimmed it on my phone. So that's all that I used was the native software on my phone. Now I happen to have an iPhone. So I just went into the photos app and I opened up that particular photo. I tapped on edit. And then one of the things, let me hide our photos here real quick, Gary. One of the things um, is that if when you tap on edit, you can just drag when it, if you tap, if you're using an iPhone, you can just drag those um, the edges in to clip what uh, the part of the video that you want to get rid of. And then when you just click on done, it's it's done. And that's that was it. Right. That's all I had to do. Um, if you wanted to, you could take it over to your desktop. QuickTime is also, it's free. That's the great thing about these tools is they're free, right? Like the editing tool on your phone is free. Um, same thing with QuickTime for a Mac on the desktop, that's free. It does have one additional advantage with using the desktop version is you can split and cut out sections of the video. So if you find that you fumbled your phone and dropped it, instead of having to film a new one, you take it to your desktop, you can actually split a video and remove a clip from it. Um, if you're not using an iPhone, you can use a good tool that's out there, it's highly rated is VLC Media, Media Player for Windows and Android as well. Now, that is yeah. how easy it is. I mean, it took maybe 45 seconds to edit that video. Um, one of the most effective ways that I have found with this specific type of video is something that I learned from a Facebook expert named Dennis Yu, who's the CEO of a company called Blitz Metrics. And, and they, they, they do tens of millions of dollars of advertising every single month. And so what he has been, he showed me, this is, this is what works. And he showed me this dollar a day, a Facebook dollar a day marketing strategy where I can produce this type of video. And you'll see with this video, 1,000, uh, 480 people saw this video and I'm only spending a dollar a day. 56 people click on it to get more information. So I'm spending a dollar a day. Who am I marketing this to? I'm marketing this to the people who are um, in the market. I'm lever I'm starting to use Facebook's algorithm as well as the ad platform. And it's very effective. The ad platform combined with the algorithm is very effective at finding people who want to watch this video, who are interested in what you have to say, because the algorithm is preference based and the same algorithm determines what you're going to um, see in your newsfeed as which ads are going to show up in your newsfeed. And so this was, you know, a dollar a day, just running this for a dollar a day for, I don't know how long I had this running. I actually, I think this one's such a good performing one. I've left this running. So I always, yeah, as I create- it's, it's performing so well at a dollar a day, just let it go. Yeah, I just let it go. So as I create videos, I'm always creating new videos and then I'm, tr I'm boosting them for a dollar a day. And the ones that are performing, I leave go. The ones that are not performing as good as the ones that are, are then I I, uh, I stop those. And this one I believe is performing at about two cents per video for per 10 second video view. So so is, is that good, Chris? I mean, if we're looking at metrics is is two cents per how many second view? 10 second video view. Per 10 second view. Is, is that a good metric that we should look at? You know, I don't like to do comparison of metrics because I find that everybody has their own baseline. So what, you know, when I first started, I wasn't getting that type of response, it was taking, it would cost me like 10 or 12 cents per 10 second view. But, you know, just through a little bit of trial and error, realize, well, you know, people don't want to just see me talking. They want to see me talking about something interesting. So that's why I do more of this type of thing where people are getting a chance to see and experience it. There's a lot of movement taking place in the video. They're getting to, I'm drawing a, their attention to more than just me talking about something. I'm actually showing them something. This is like the old, remember in kindergarten, Gary, with the, uh, the show, show and tell, tell format? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's, that's perfect for this type of video.